Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we take a closer look at something big. So big it doesn't fit on my studio table here. So we take a closer look in my garden. It's about a lawnmower and not any lawnmower. We're talking about the Limo 1. A lawn mowing robot that is successful even before the official product launch because it came from a Kickstarter campaign where they raised over seven million dollars. So people are interested in it. Why you ask yourself? Because it promises to mow up to 7,000 square meters in just two runs and doesn't flinch if they have higher grass or any strong grass or mm, your straws. But does it really deliver all those promises? That's why we are here, so let's check it out. And as always, a great product journey starts with a box. And that's a big box, <laughs> 47 kilograms heavy big box. So keep that in mind if you plan on getting it on your own. And if you open up, you first greet it with the RTK module and its two mounting options. You can see the L-shaped rod is for mounting it on a wall or something like that. And then you have these two rods by the side, yeah, that get screwed together to be a little bit higher. I think it's around one meter 60, something around. And then with those things, you can ram it into the ground with no problem at all. And that's what we did. And here you have the Lima one. You see it. That is a massive thing. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's built out of an aluminum body or based on an aluminum alloy frame all around. Of course, there's some plastic and stuff like that, but that thing brings more than 30 kilos on the scale. So let's take a closer look under the hood and what immediately catches the eye are the prominent mulching blades. These are more reminiscent of conventional lawnmowers than other robotic mowers, which usually have those razor blade-like knives mounted on a rotating disc but these can also block very easily so not the biggest fan for that design and here the only thing that can happen here is i mean of course they can break but what's more common is that they will they will become dull of course over time but thanks to the solid construction and you can easily sharpen them yourself or order new ones neither of which is a problem as the blades are held in place but just one screw each and so changing it is super easy then there are these guide wheels as i call them they ensure a consistent distance from the ground and are also used to detect whether the mower deck is no longer in contact with the ground and therefore needs to be stopped so yeah then clearly visible on the front we have the optical sensors and the lighting for driving in poor lighting conditions and of course the base station this is pretty straightforward as you would expect from robots like this and is secured with ground anchors that are supplied in the box too then all you have to do is connect the whole thing to your local Wi-Fi and it should be mentioned here that our model only wanted to connect to 2.4 gigahertz network so keep that in mind and then the fun can begin <laughs> as it is common with many cordless mowers you first have to create the desired zones before you can start mowing to do this simply drive around the outer boundaries of your property and specify the settings you want to use to mow this zone and the cutting height can be adjusted from 30 to 100 millimeters. The cutting width is of course fixed at 400 millimeter. The speed of the blades can also be adjusted. If you don't need so much power, you don't have to mow everything at 6000 RPM, which saves also some battery power. Furthermore, you can also adjust the speed of the mower and the patterns in which the whole area is to be cut, including the edge distances and etc. All of this can then be adjusted at any time and customized for each zone individually. And then you are ready to go and can see how precisely the Lima one adjusts to the set cutting height relative to the ground. This always takes a little time at the beginning and then the concentrated power is unleashed. <laughs> You can immediately hear that you're dealing with more power than usual. The 1200 watts of peak power comes at a price and that price is noise. I would say the manufacturer specifies the noise level at 68 dB and even though we haven't measured it ourselves, we can say that it's on the louder side of lawn mowers. It's definitely not a silent experience as you might find with some competitors but it's all the more powerful for it. So powerful, in fact, that it's actually a bit overkill for regular mowing. With normal grass lengths under 10 centimeters, the mower seems almost underutilized. 
That's why I was actually quite happy that I had a little bit of wild grow right in front of my property, which looks more like the natural habitat for the Lima One. This also allows me to show you how to connect multiple mowing zones together. And now I made a second zone, as you can see right here, and now I can make a channel. So that's a passageway the robot will follow to safely cross from one uh, section to another, from one zone to another. So just make it like this. You have to start in one zone with the robot and then you can transition to the other zone. I will do that. Just make it like this. And we have safely landed. And as you can see, now we have this blue line. That means we have made a channel from one zone to another. To another. So I can start now mowing only that zone and the mower will go here and then take the channel to the other zone and we'll mow there. And yeah, but now I need to charge that thing so we can mow the really great grass on the other side. <laughs> Attention, lawn mower starting now. Yeah. Yep. And here you can really see what kind of beast you're dealing with. This isn't a well manicured golf course. Pretty much everything grows here and proliferates here various weeds with thick stems and things that would probably have become shrubs at some point. <laughs> but joking aside, the performance is really impressive. Even if the pattern looks a little bit random when mowing for the first time, it has really done an amazing job. And it looks like he addresses really big chunks of grass first, so he tries to mow all the big stuff out of the way so he can go with his normal patterns uh, afterwards. But let's be real, any ordinary robot lawnmower would have got stuck just for looking at the height of the grass. And the Lima one, no twitching, no getting stuck, nothing. It also handles the edges with ease and there was no accidental contact with the edging here either. I mean the stone edge, it really, I'm yeah, kind of speechless. Really great performance here. That he was able to do that, really amazing. I mean, it was, this high as you can see and he really managed to <laughs> mow it all down it's really great <laughs> great result I mean of course I would let it run one two times more to make a really even and great result but for a first try, I would say that's that's pretty awesome. I like that. I mean, I never tested a robot mower that was able to mow that kind of hate. And I mean, even look at those grass straws, how big those are. There's not only straws. There's so much stuff here and he just cut through it. So it's really amazing really strong power and once the work is done or when the battery reaches a low charge level it naturally returns to its base station as usual in 2025 and begins to charging and charging is a good keyword because the batteries of the Lima one can be easily replaced or purchased separately so if you have a really large uh, property just buy a second or a third <laughs> battery and you can mow with peace of mind and if you buy the battery separately, it also comes with its own charger. So that way you can just charge your batteries in the garage or wherever you want to charge them and only swap them into the robot when needed. So pretty cool if you ask me. But how satisfied am I with the cutting results? I have to say that it definitely keeps up with the competition and in my opinion even surpasses them thanks to its incredible power. I mean, everyone has to decide for themselves whether they really need that or if a smaller, not so powerful mower does the job for them. But there's nothing wrong with the basic cut. Only the edges didn't seem overly precise in our test scenario, but I even found a solution for that. <laughs> the manual controls, so you can really mow to the edges as far as you want so you can work uh, after it so you don't have to trim it because I'm really happy with the result of course you can discuss those little grass straws you see there we could mow that with a trimmer or something like that but 
honestly, I had so much fun remote controlling <laughs> the Lima one that I wouldn't consider doing it. And I'm fine with an edge like that. But I hope they don't remove that manual control feature because this is something I sometimes see in a mower when they're not uh, ready for market and then they remove features like that when they hit market. But in this case, please, please keep that. It's fun. It's just fun. So that's it about the Limo one from my side, at least. I like that thing. And if you liked it and you want to try it out, best moment for that because they have a special price right now. Check out the description uh, if you want to find more about that. And if you liked that video, maybe give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button so we can see each other next time. And so long, I wish you a beautiful day and the perfect lawn. And if not, buy a Limo one. Bye-bye.